Dear students, thank you for your kindness to Ed. Thank you for the Grand Veterans Day card that you sent him. I'm looking at it right now. I've placed it with Ed's high school graduation picture, the flag that was on his coffin, and a photo of him in the service. Thank you for letting Ed be a part of the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. Ed enjoyed so very much when he would meet and speak with you young people. It was an honor for him. Ed passed away on December 20th, 2012. He had a rough year health-wise, but the best occasions he attended were those involving young people. Very truly yours, Adela S. Fabish. I admire this boy because he's got his future to look forward to. Hi, my name's Ty. I'm part of the Harlem Veteran Project. I currently have a question on what type of aircraft were on his carrier during World War II, so I'm going to be heading over to his place, see if he can identify some of the aircraft I'm going to print out for him. Uh, Mr. Terry, what does it mean to you um, knowing that Ty is working on it, knowing that he hopes to get in the Navy, or he's heading down into the Navy? I, I admire Ty for, for what he's doing. I honestly think I don't deserve some of the things that he just said. It's. I just feel like that I'm just a regular high school student that has so many no, big aspirations. Not. No, you're not. And no, you're not. No, you're not. You're an exceptionally young man with a future. And we need more people. More people like you. The Crab family. I worked on Mr. Crab's documentary last year, and unfortunately, he passed away around three weeks ago. In lieu of flowers or any other sort of donation to the family, they decide to donate to the project. So I'm going right now to personally thank them not only for that, but for all the other contributions in my yeah, life. Yeah, these oh, are his shirts. Oh. Black jeans and black shirts. Every day of his life. Of his so life. we so, thought so. it would be good. Yeah. I think for any student going through this project, um, there's certain life lessons that you don't get out of a book. Both of my grandparents have been a huge part of my kids' lives. And my daughter my, is only four years old, and my son is two. So the memories that they have with him will fade over time. At his visitation, to hear his voice playing in the background just showed me that he's just still here with all of us. Dear veterans, I write this letter in hopes that someone, somewhere, will hear this call. Students from Harlem High School will continue to hear and record your stories for one of the greatest accomplishments a high school student can have is documenting our hero's history. Lastly, know that as long as you bravely serve our nation, we will always be listening. Yours truly, Michael Fenners. <laughs>